Friends, I am very excited today, not because there is something big and yellow behind me. I am excited because of where we are coming to you from. This is a super double secret underground lair kind of bunker type of thing at Nissan North American headquarters in Music City. We are here to see this, the 2016 Nissan Titan XD Turbo Diesel Crew Cab Pro X 4. That is a hell of a name. Anyway, um, this is going to be a tech walk around film, not our usual walk around previous. We're gonna go more in depth on some of the stuff we know, and maybe extrapolate a little bit on this vehicle, uh, because we're not gonna drive this thing until like the end of the year. Now, I think we should start with a trivia question. Let's press on to something near and dear to us. Um, what do these two cars have in common besides the logo on the front? Um, rather than you guys answering that as a question in the comments below or via our social media, which you can, I will answer that question at the end of this episode. Now, I think we should go to the business end of this vehicle, shall we? Uh, this, you know, Nissan has made a, a big fanfare about this being a Cummins turbo diesel powered pickup truck. So let's check it out underneath the hood. Do you guys remember a number of years ago when Chrysler, Nissan, and Cummins uh, were gonna come together on a collaboration uh, which would have become this. But then, as you guys probably lived through in 2008, the world fell off of an economic cliff, Chrysler went bankrupt, they became FCA, but Nissan and Cummins pressed on, and this is the fruits of their labor. What we've got here is a V8 turbocharged diesel. Uh, it's five liters, puts out 310 horsepower, but that's not what this is about. It's all about the torque. So, are you ready for this? 555 pound-feet of torque. But here's the exciting part. It comes in at 1600 RPM. Now, I know I said we're not gonna drive this thing for a while, but I am kind of excited to drive something that has over 500 pound-feet of torque that comes in that low. But that's not the only thing special here. Uh, riddle me this, what does the Mazda Skyactiv 3 have in common with this Cummins Turbo Diesel Nissan XD Pro 4X something or other. Give up? Well, do you remember when Dave Coleman showed us the bundle of snakes that goes on to the, the Mazda Skyactiv 4 cylinder? Basically, it was a number of plenums that have different, uh, different lengths. So it could, it could vary the air going into the engine, basically move the air faster or slower based on load. This turbocharger has kind of the same principle. It's one turbocharger, it's not a twin turbo. Uh, it sits in the valley here, and basically got one prop, but two different directions the air can go based on how fast you want the air to get into the engine and all the load from the driver. So realistically, what we got here is a new approach for Cummins, because if you really think about it, what Cummins does is six-cylinder turbo diesels. Here we've got a V8. Now, I spoke to the Nissan folks about this. I'm like, okay, so if you were going to go to Cummins, why don't you just pull something off the shelf and make it easy for everybody? Their idea was we wanted to focus on packaging, so they wanted to have a shorter block, and the, 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 the benefit is you'd have a much shorter overhang in the front, and yeah, this is, there's no way you're going to make a full-size pickup small, but at least you can make it drive smaller, and we're gonna to get to that later. Now let's press on to pickup truck lingo. Um, and before we do, I can't help but notice this thing is incredibly yellow, which next to this makes you think, float like a Titan, sting like a Z. Get it? Oh, come on, that was funny. Fine, we'll move on to pickup trucks. So if I were to roll into like a Ford dealer, or a Chevy dealer and say, uh, please, I would like a pickup truck, thank you. Um, and they would say, would you like that small, medium, or large? Translated 1,500, 2,500, or 3,500. And that's all in relation to frame size, suspension, towing, all that kind of stuff. Now, before we get into what Nissan is doing here, let's talk some numbers. So last year, Honda, the number one selling mini crossover, the CRV, they sold like 350,000. 
the number one selling passenger car, Toyota, the Camry, 460,000. The number one selling vehicle in the US, the Ford F-150 with 765,000. So if you're Nissan coming out with a new pickup truck, do you want to compete with 765,000 units? No. That's why Nissan, and a little disclaimer here, this is me reading between the tea leaves here. Um, Nissan is coming out and labeling this thing an XD, not a 1500, not a 2500, to go after a space that no one really is catering to. So let's go back to an example. If I'm a guy that has a toy hauler, uh, a horse trailer, a boat trailer, I really can't use a 1500. But do I want to roll into a Chevy dealer and pay $65,000? 12,000 of which is just a diesel engine to basically support my hobby, which my wife would probably kill me for? Um, probably not. So what these guys are doing here is they're coming out with like the Goldilocks version, the one kind of in between, the just right for the guy that would burn up a 1500 in like two weeks and the guy who doesn't want to spend the extra 20 grand to get the 2500. So what they've done here is they're going to offer two different frame sizes. So I know they haven't told us about the coming Titan, the base car, but in the XD, they've already confirmed that the frame size is going to be bigger, so taller and wider that will come in the Titan that they're going to announce later on this year. Oh, and one thing I tried, man, I tried to get details of the, what the engine they're going to put in that, but let's just say, if, I, if, I, if I'm reading the tea leaves again correctly, it's going to be a gas V8. And if I were a betting man, I'd say a totally new gas V8. Stay tuned, we'll come back to this. Now, come on back here, guys. So let's go back to this towing example, because really, if you're going to buy this thing, you're probably going to tow. Um, the brakes, 14.2 inch diameter rotors in the front, 14.4 in the back. Then we have this Pro 4X business. This is more than just a fancy sticker. This really signals how the truck can be configured. We already discussed how there's gonna be two frame sizes. Well, this is a full-size pickup, so most likely there's going to be multiple cab configurations on offer. Probably a uh, standard cab, a king cab, and this crew cab you got here. Now, if I were a bet man, I would look at the old Titan, see that clamshell door thing they got here in the King Cab, probably think it's gonna be on the coming Titan here. Now, while we're in here, have you guys ever heard the term Cowboy Cadillac? I would like to coin the term Longhorn Lexus for this vehicle. And that's because it is incredibly fancy in here. Granted, this is a very high spec model. It has heated and cooled leather seats. By the way, the leather, Anything you want, as long as it's black inside the Pro 4X. Uh, if you get the Platinum Plus Edition, you can get a black and tan two-tone. But once again, if you get the Platinum Plus, anything you want, as long as it's black and tan. But once we get into this thing, we see we've got navigation, heated steering wheel. We get an adjustable steering wheel with control like a Lexus, hence Longhorn Lexus. Um, but notice, while we're in here, I want to point something out. Hill descent control, and then on top of that, you've got a locking electronic diff. That is one of the big pieces of the Pro 4X. That's combined with, they changed the dampers out on the Pro 4X. This has got the Bilstein dampers, and then the Pro 4X is rounded out with off-road wheels and off-road tires. Um, now, the Pro 4X, we need to take that and put it off to the side, because that's like, a standalone, uh, super heavy duty version, basically off-roading. Uh, but they do plan to offer regular versions for mere mortals. And that's gonna be an S, which is gonna be like the El Cheapo model. Then there's gonna be like an SV, which will be the normal middle of the road model. Think of like the Honda Accord LX. Uh, and then there's gonna be an SL, which is like sort of luxury. I think that's what it stands for. And then that Platinum Plus we talked about. Um, while we're here, notice this is a diesel, so you do have the ad blue here. Just wanted to point that out as an aside. But I think we need to press on to the real business end of a pickup truck, the bed. Check this out. So I will admit I'm not much of a truck guy, but I have to say 
There's some neat tricks hidden back here. And I know everybody thinks about the Ford with this because the Ford kind of, they lead this segment. Well, Nissan, they're the fourth to be reckoned with, I guess. Uh, notice, there is, for computer geeks like me, a power outlet in the side wall of the bed. Uh, there is halogen lights in the tailgates. And then there's lights around the bed and on the center high mount stoplight that are LEDs. Uh, but wait, there's more. You know how uh, when your friends come to you and say, hey, can you help me move this weekend? Well, now you can say yes, because there are boxes. You know how like in the, the Dodge, Dodge, they call them Ram. You know, Chrysler is the only company that adds brands. But I digress again. Um, you can have boxes fitted in here that are the storage like in, in, in the Ram pickup trucks, but they can come out so you can have plenty of room to help your friends move. But yeah, let's say if they were fitted in here, you can have an entire sheet of plywood fit underneath the removable boxes. While we're down here, notice these smart rails. So let's say if you've got a motorcycle, uh, you can get the attachments to basically torque down the motorcycle in the back of your bed. And then while we're in here, notice there is a gooseneck trailer hitch sitting right in front or really in the middle of the bed. Um, and from what I've been told from the fine folks at Nissan, that is going to be standard on everything SV and above. Now, there's something else I need to show you guys. Come around to the side here. And this falls under the heading of storage as well. So let's say you've got the Rugrats back here, you got the seat down, but let's say then you go for a trip to Costco and you're gonna buy them a new TV so they can watch, I don't know, SpongeBob SquarePants, same color of this vehicle. Uh, you have a kind of an ingenious little thing here and this you don't see on other pickup trucks. Basically it's a two-stage box system. So I can make the floor flat for storage when I do get that new TV, or let's say I wanna hide stuff from my, uh, my wife or uh, the local constable, I've got a lockable storage box here, but then I can put the box down, put the seat down, and the kids can ride with me to school. Now last, but certainly not least, is I wanna say a, a page out of the Chrysler PR book. Remember when Chrysler first announced the power of the Hellcat? They said it was gonna be like 650 plus horsepower. And, they, and they, they kept us waiting. And then they literally gobsmacked the car community with 707 horsepower. Well, I think Nissan is doing the same thing here, but for towing, for the truck community. They're saying 12,000 plus pounds capacity of towing. Now, if I'm a betting man, I'm thinking that they are going to exceed that by a lot. Okay, that is the 2016 Titan. Now, we've covered a lot in this film. There's a lot of tech stuff we talked about, a lot of reinterpretation of pickup trucks here, but for kind of a middle of the road, as we called it, Goldilocks segment. So I'm gonna turn a question over to you and I'm gonna make this very open-ended. What about the stuff that we have covered you like. But more importantly, what about the stuff we covered you don't like? Or what about the stuff that we didn't cover that you wanna see in this truck? I ask you this now for an important reason. This thing's not coming out for seven months. The vehicle you're looking at right now, this is a China doll. It runs, it works, but it's kinda of held together by chewing gum and spit. So that means that there's room to change things. So you guys need to weigh in in the comments below or hit us up via our social media, Moto Man TV, all one word, Moto Man TV, all one word, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Let us know what you think about this, good, bad, or indifferent, and we are going to pass it on to Nissan. And then we're gonna have the truck back on as well as some of the folks from Nissan to talk about your suggestions. Now, when we started this, I promised you an answer to a trivia question. What does this Nissan and this Nissan have in common besides the badge? Well, once again, our friend Randy Rodriguez rears his ugly head and he has brought another product to life. This was his first design, and if you saw our Infinity Emerge episode, he designed his own like stunning show car, and now he's got a pickup truck. Man, I hate this guy. But while we're at it, over the past couple of months, 
we have graciously asked you to share our episodes. Well, in a recent episode, we said we may or may not start to bribe you. Well, courtesy of Nissan, we're going to bribe you in this episode. Here's how it's going to work. We have some very cool swag. First, we have a camo Titan hat complete with a faux leather bill. And we have a black shirt that tells you all of the exotic places that this vehicle was developed. Now, I would have a blonde model this for you, but we don't have a budget for a blonde. This is why we need you to share these episodes so we get more budget so we can get hot women on the show. See how this works? Anyway, how do you get this stuff, you may ask? Well, if you would like the hat, you need to create your own original tweet, tag us, MotomanTV, all one word, MotomanTV, all one word, and the tweet that gets retweeted the most gets the hat. We have three of these to give away, so you need to get creative. If you would like the shirt, same deal, but on Facebook, meaning you need to create your own Facebook post, tag Motoman TV, the Facebook post that gets shared the most gets the shirt. We have seven of these to give away, so you can get really creative here. And with that, I say bye y'all from Nashville, Tennessee. So here's the script. Click here to subscribe. Click here to watch one of our 350 other episodes. And most importantly, share us with your friends. You're already wasting half your life on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Moto Man TV, all one word. I don't care who you share us with. Share us with your enemies. Just give the gift of Moto Man.